What's up, Qser here, and today we're going to have a look at how to defeat the Maven. So we access Maven by letting her witness boss fights and completing her invitations. We do so by making sure this is turned on when we do our maps. Uh, once we've filled all of the blue bars in the area we've been mapping, we will then eventually receive an invitation. We then place that invitation in the map device, and we kill the bot bosses that we have witnessed. So once we've done the invitation, this is going to open up the passive on the atlas of that specific area, and we can place uh, two points in. This is now going to add one extra bar onto zone, so we just repeat witnessing bosses until we uh, get 10 bars. So once we've completed our first 10, uh, we should be eligible to fight Maven. Of course, we also need a total of 10 Crescent Splinters to form the Maven's Rift first. Uh, Crescent Splinters will drop off of 10 boss fights or uh, the special invitations. So Maven is actually uh, fairly easy. Uh, the real fight is the test of your memory. I do uh, uh, apologize for my hilarious error down at the corner of the screen. Uh, while I am not AFK, it is indeed a playback. Uh, I went to record more footage of the fight and completely forgot that piece of text was there in my OBS scene selection. So in phase one, we fight Maven and her brain. Uh, in a way, it's kind of like Uber Elder, where we take turn alternating attacking the two of them. However, not quite as stressful. Pay attention to the layout of the arena and pay close attention to the revolving extended platform at the edge. It is very important at the end of this phase. Maven will teleport around just like Cyrus. The Schumann form Maven abilities are, by voice line, Maven shoots a barrage of volleys around the arena, and these projectiles can actually deal quite a bit of damage, so you want to run away and try to avoid them. Maven will chase you with a twinned triple laser that kind of looks like an egg cutter. It is easily avoidable as only the ends deal damage and you can walk underneath them. However, this is not all you have to deal with the first phase. Her brain is actually circling around the edges of the arena interacting as well. Most notably, or very important to the fight rather, the brain will uh, every now and again send three projectiles called gravity well into the arena, chasing you until it collides with you, and when it does, it will spawn a blob of cold degen in that spot. More or less exactly like the Shaper fight. It does have a pretty distinct uh, screechy sound as they're being spawned, so try to uh, remember that sound. Where we drop these blobs are pretty important. As a ranged character, I would suggest to place them uh, as much in the middle as possible. And as a male character, either far right, or far left, or even at the very top of the arena, you will see why later. The brain also does a barrage of projectiles every now and then, as well as circling a bunch of blue balls around the arena, these do not target you. And as long as you avoid the edges, you won't get hit. These do not leave any degen either. However, if you let these linger for too long, Maven will call upon another skill, Mine that will command all of those blue projectiles to gather up and chase you. And all you really have to do is run away from it until all have exploded. The brain will also occasionally send in uh, even larger projectiles into the arena rather than the outside. What's more is the brain also does a charge up laser. This one could easily one shot you. So if you see a big purple line walk out of the way, the sound cue for this is Death Made Real. However, I'm not 100% sure if the brain actually does this skill in phase one. It definitely does this later on. Once we've gotten Schumann for Maven down to 0%, Culling Strike works on her uh, every phase, by the way. The brain will enter the center of the arena and say, Pain will be returned tenfold. And this is our cue to run for that extended platform I was talking about earlier because the brain will now do a big AoE and one-shot anything inside the arena, but not the extended platform. In this phase, the brain will spawn two lasers to each side of him. That revolves slowly around the arena. If you touch the laser, you will get a debuff for 10 seconds that lowers your maximum resist by 10, and you can no longer regenerate life or energy shield for the duration. 
so you really want to be sure to not touch that laser. This also shows the importance of the placement of the degen, the gravity wells. If you're a melee character and you place the degen in the middle, you might not be able to reach the brain to damage it, which is why I suggested to place the degen to the left or right or even at the top. The reason you don't want to place it in the bottom is because if you have to log out or you die and you have to come back in, you would spawn right on top of that degen. If you have the reach, the best spot is in the middle for sure. The brain will also spawn three random map bosses, any map boss. I've seen the Vol Temple bosses, uh, Bramble Valley bosses, Kitaba. Uh, there can be some really scary combinations and most notably, uh, it can spawn the bosses from Racecourse. That is to say specifically the bull with the reflect aura. So our goal here is to get the brain down to 75%-ish, uh, maybe lower. I'm, ac I'm guessing it's actually closer to 66% because we do this encounter a total of three times. You can kill the summon map bosses, but they will keep being respawned until the brain is dead. The real focus of uh, this phase is not the map bosses, but rather the brain. Once we get the brain down, that phase is now done. Phase 2. Once the brain phase is over, we will now uh, have our very first memory game. Death will not be an escape. This first memory game has a sequence of three areas that need to be touched in order. Shown by Maven, it lights up in purple. Once she says scurry, scurry, we can start. You really want to avoid the smack middle. You don't want to touch the middle area. Uh, that's where the expanding AoE starts and it will kill you if you touch it. If you hit the wrong area, it will light up in red and the AoE will expand even faster. As long as the AoE doesn't hit you or the edge, you can still correct the memory game to complete it. Once the memory game is over, we repeat everything from before except now we have the added memory game. Once Maven is dead a second time, the brain will once again enter the uh, arena and we once again need to look for the extended platform for safety. The brain phase is exactly like before, but this time we need to get the brain down to what looks like a 33%. Phase 3. Just like before, we start this phase with a memory game. Sometimes there is a small delay before she starts it and we actually get to tickle her a, a little beforehand. Whenever she says, death will not be an escape. It means it's time for the memory game again. However, in this phase, it's not a sequence of three, but a sequence of six. In this phase, she starts adding an ability called do what I say and do a large AOE explosion, easily telegraphed, which also seems to be cold damage. She very, very rarely does this, but I've noticed she only does this uh, the last two phases. Once Maven is dead again, it's time for the brain phase one last time. Don't forget to run for that extended platform first. And of course, avoiding the lasers. Phase four. Since we have now killed the brain, it will no longer intervene with any outside projectiles or degen. This fight is uh, exactly like it has been before, except we now have to deal with five revolving lasers that if touched, gives us a 10 second debuff that lowers our maximum resist by 10 and disables our life and energy shield region, just like the brain phase lasers. On top of this, Maven teleports and does her usual cascade of pain, stand still, do what I say, and now a new take this, which shoots a large fireball that has a chance to ignite you and, um, oh yeah, 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 the memory game. So if you messed up the placement of the degen, this uh, phase could prove very, very difficult. All you really have to do this phase is uh, survive the memory game, not touch the laser, and you're golden. So that has been my Maven guide. Happy Maven's Orb hunting, and I'll see you guys in the next video.